What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we defeated Winona, the Fortree City Gym Leader, and we got ourselves our sixth badge. Now, it is time for us to head on over to Route 120, and, well, I brought in another Pokemon from another, you know, team and all that stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Sir Razor. That's right, Bellsprout, and as you can see, its dex number is unknown right now because, technically speaking, it's not in our Pokédex. How did I get this Pokémon? It's very, it's very simple, guys. I bred it in Pokémon Y, and I transferred it over to Omega Ruby. Because remember, a few episodes ago, I said that I was going to take the time to bring in some some of my old Pokémon from different uh, walkthroughs. That includes uh, Yellow all the way to Liquid Crystal and beyond, and all that stuff. Especially Pokémon Black, since we've already completed a full team right there. So. Yes, our good old buddy, Sir Razor, will be on our team for, well, probably one or two episodes, maybe. I don't even know. Because it does know how to cut uh, bushes and all that stuff. And I kind of want to be a little bit more complete on this. So, before we go anywhere, let's go right ahead and teach cut to our good old buddy, Sir Razor. Now, our fifth, or our sixth Pokemon will have, it's actually the egg that we got a few uh, episodes back. We still need to hatch that little son bitch. So, yep. Uh, we're continuing with our egg right here. So here we are in Route 120, and we are going to be battling a lot of trainers. Lots and lots of trainers. Why am I carrying this parasol? I'll tell you if you win against me. Whatever you say, baby. Okay, so here we go, guys. Uh, taking on a parasol lady, Clarissa, and she will be coming out with her Goldeen. Look at that. Goldeen. And back onto the team is Sage of the Halo right here. And it's a level 45. No worries, here we come with the Leaf Blade. Alrighty. Now, if you guys already noticed, your Pokemon will be, like, if, if you guys are really grinding, really, really grinding before you hit Lily Cove and Moss Deep, your Pokemon could be at level 70. You could just hit that level 70 real easily just because not only are there Pokemon trainers that want to battle you every single time, well, there are secret bases if you use the internet. And some of these Pokemon trainers in these secret bases will actually want to battle you with some very, very strong Pokemon. Very strong Pokemon, guys. I'll tell you that right now. That's how I got some of my Pokemon at level 100. You don't need to cheat in this game. Really, guys. There's no cheating. The cheat is the game itself. Now, here comes Seeking. And, well, let's go with another Leaf Blade right here. Look at that. Uh, uh, uh. That's right. Seeking defeated. Okay, alrighty. Okay, and of course, Desert Storm grows to level 38, and Sir Razor growing a lot. I think we might evolve Sir Razor right here. Look at that, level 11. Learned Rap. That's right, level 12. Look at that. So in just one episode, it just grew to level 11 levels right there. That's pretty awesome. Very, very awesome. Okay, so let's move on right here. There are spots around here, and yes, there's a jet flying over us. God dang. Okay, so we can pass through this, and this is the reason why I got uh, Sir Razor on my team is because, you know, there's a few places that you need to cut, and there's some items that you need to get, and as you can see, we're just going to be cutting right here. Of course, if this is blocking nothing, there should be something, so let's go right ahead and find that something with, uh, oh, actually, hold on, I think I have it, yeah, there we go. Ah, oh, look at that. Where are you? Right here. Oh, crud, it's right there. There we go. Found ourselves a rare candy. Again, guys, this whole game is a cheat just because of how easily you can level up your Pokemon. And that's thanks to Pokemon X and Y because even capturing Pokemon levels you up. Okay. So as you guys probably already know, this is the area where we actually captured a uh, new Cybot. And why didn't I bring him with me? I completely forgot. Wait, hold on. There's an item right here. Hmm. Okay, we'll be... We'll be getting that into just a little bit, but as you probably already see, there's uh, our good old buddies from uh, the, the radio station and all that stuff. Or not the radio station, the TV station. So I'm going to be switching out my Pokemon right here. Let's go with Desert Storm and Gaia. Okay, let's see. Let's see what these guys have to say now. All right, Jabronis. Oh, you're Draven. Hi, do you remember us from last time? Can you show us how strong or how much stronger you've become? Okay, cue the interview. Doesn't even let me say yes. So here we go. Interviewers Gabby and Ty would like to battle, and they're coming out with Magneton and Loudra. Now, 
in Pokemon Sapphire, Ruby, and Emerald, these were the guys that I went to every single time to actually level up some Pokemon that I've captured. Uh, they, they, they were, they, like, they, of course, will actually level up their Pokemon. They will, you know, fully evolve them and all that crud. And then after that, just like, you know, they, they become easier and easier to just battle and stuff. Pokemon level up easily. It's pretty awesome. Very, very awesome, man. Look at that. Defeated with just one glaring, uh, dazzling gleam. Look at that. Oh, yes. And Sir Razor is going to keep on growing. It might evolve in this episode right here. So let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Actually, let's go. Let's uh, let's stick with Rap Attack. Nobody has cut. Doesn't really need anything else. Let's go. There we go. Sleep Powder. And look at that. Growing levels like crazy. And here we come with the Rock Slide. Not going to be super effective, but it's still going to take something. And yes, it flinched. Okay. Time to die. Let's see. Dragon Breath. Time to get some of that bad breath onto your face. And here we go with another Dazzling Gleam. For the win, look at that. Dazzling Gleam, eat it. And not so per super effective, but here we go. Bam. Bad breath, wins it again. That's why you should go to the dentist, guys. Alrighty, look at that. All my Pokemon, and look at that. Sir Razor growing levels like crazy, and it's learning Poison Powder. Eh, well, you know what, take away growth. It's okay. Not really gonna use it, you know, not really gonna use it on this team or anything, but Sir Razor was an integral part of like two of my Pokemon team. It really was, so that's why I keep on using it right here. Okay, so what is it that she wants to tell me? Murder! Do you remember? That's the quote you gave us the last battle clincher last time. I never ever forget stuff like that. Anyway, what do you think? Do you want to be interviewed again? Sure, why not? You will. Thank you. Okay, I need you to describe your feelings about our battle, but it has to be short and sweet. Go! Of course, uh, the first one was Gattaca, this one was Murder. If you guys don't get the reference, you guys should check out the, the, the show The League. Uh, I'll go into that in a little bit. That's two, uh, two things that it, one specific character says. Now, what would the third one be? I don't know. I don't know. What would the third one be? You know what, let's go back to Gattaca, because I don't really have, like, I can't re really remember anything else. Hold on, hold on. Uh, oh, here we go, I got one. I got one. Yo, Bagoya. This is all from the League. Now, again, the League, a little vulgar, just like I am. But it's okay. You know, it's funny. It's very funny. It kind of reminds me of my, my actual friends. That's actually the the length or the keep the, the length of uh you know how we could screw each other over. You guys get what I'm saying. And here we have a gloom. I think I've already captured uh, an oddish probably. No, I didn't. I think I think I captured two oddishes. That's probably what it was. I don't know. Anywho, let's get going. And wow, this guy surprised us. My Pokemon is strong. How about your Pokemon? Well. My Pokemon is 100% stronger. So here we go. Bird Keeper Robert wants the battle, and he's going to be coming out with his Swablu. Okay, okay. Let's go with Desert Storm right here. Look at that, too. Flam Pokemon right here. And we're going to go with the Rock Slide. Look at that. Always wanted to use the Bobra. And uh, what was it? What was a uh, Flygon? Eventually, like, I think that in Pokemon... Well, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, they had the they had the most interesting dragon type Pokemon that you can pick. And there are three. You got of course Altaria, Flygon, and then uh, Salamence. Uh, so Altaria and and Flygon are the easiest Pokemon to actually get. Uh, you don't normally get what was it? Uh, Salamence till way, way after you defeat the all the gym leaders, which was totally unfair. So that's why I normally went with uh, either Flygon or, or Altaria onto this game right here, so... Yep, and let's see, there's somebody waiting for us right here, but we're not going to be going. And here we are into the next route right here, or same route, just uh, Route 120. And we're going to be switching up our Pokemon right here. Let's go switch it up to Gaia the Fierce Knight, number one. And let's go ahead and battle this guy. Do you have any moves that can strike a flying Pokemon? Yeah, I got plenty. Very, very, uh, very much a lot. Okay, so here we go. Birdkeeper Colin wants the battle. Coming with his swallow. 
And I'm coming with Gaia the Fierce Knight. Yeah, buddy. Anywho, I'm going to go off topic right here now because this is going to be quite an episode. Don't know how long it's going to last. I'm just watching this and all that stuff. So today, as I'm recording this whole thing, it is, uh, what was it? It is May 14th. And sometimes I go on to my, uh, my channel to check up on the comments that you guys post up. And, you know, I did forget to go ahead and shout out some Pokemon trainers or some, Poke uh, some uh, subscribers and all that stuff. Uh, in this episode, I'm probably going to be, or I'm probably just going to be shouting out like maybe three or four, answering a few questions while I'm battling all these people. Look at that. Gaia the Fierce Knight destroys Swellow. Eat it, and look at that. Thank you, Rain. That's right. Look at that. Anywho. Now, I've... I've gotten like four comments, four comments that actually, you know, I kind of want to address right here onto this, uh, uh, onto this, not four, actually three, but three and a shout out, I don't even know guys, you guys know what I'd be talking about. So anywho, uh, first one is uh, Rain and Thunder, Rain O and O Thunder, I think that's how you pronounce it, I don't even know. Uh, homie here has been commenting on quite a few of my uh, videos, I think Yellow, Crystal, yeah, some of those, uh, and he's been wanting to get me on a Nuzlocke and all that stuff. You know, asking me, have I ever done one? And then uh, wanting me to choose a Pokemon for him. Uh, and of course, he did come out with his first episode. Very little known channel, but he did come out with his first episode of Pokemon Red. And I happened to help him out with the choosing of the starter Pokemon, which would happen, which uh, many of you guys already know, my favorite Pokemon, Charmander and all that stuff. So, shout out to you, buddy. Uh, sorry I haven't gotten back to you in quite some time. Of course, many of you guys already know. Pretty busy, especially in the quarantine right here. Now, let's see. We're, okay, so we're going to be looking for another Pokemon right here. Or battle. So let's go for the ninja first. Let's go for the ninja right here. Look at that. He's hiding. We ninja conceal ourselves under our invisibility cloaks. I bet you didn't even know where I was. Actually, I did. I really did. Now, the next person right here is Crokey4. Now, homie here was asking me about how do I do this recording and all that stuff. Now, for those who are wanting to, you know, do their own walkthroughs and are thinking of starting with, like, you know, 3DS, uh, my advice to you is have plenty of money because the best way is by doing a capture card and all that stuff. Uh, for those who have been with me for all 10 years, you guys already know that I bought, I accidentally bought a capture card that wires up to your, uh, to your computer, and it turned out to be in Japanese. And that cost me about $400. Trust me, guys, that's a lot of money right there. And then I bought myself two other capture cards, wireless and all that stuff, and that, those two cost me about 200 bucks each, so... Uh, for Crokey4, this is answering one of your questions. Yes, I'm actually using a capture card. It's a little bit of money. I have heard uh, about emulators for the 3DS. It's just that I can't. I don't think I could use it on any of my computers because uh, I guess the the not the firewall, but the antivirus right here will actually just you know deny it and all that stuff. So I'd rather have. I'd rather you know just do it on capture card than on a, a you know virus infected emulator and all that stuff. And look at that. Sir Razor grows to level 20. Bam! This uh, invisibility cloak has failed him. Alright. So let's move on right here. And, you know, again, I'm going to keep on saying this, but just, uh, you know, I apologize for the... Uh, I, I do apologize for the, whatchamacallit, uh, uh, the, 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 the lagginess. Sometimes it lags. Yes, this uses internet and all that stuff. Now, right here, you can actually find a secret base, which I don't think anybody's using right now. And you can find three different kinds of berries. Look at that. Find ourselves Aspier berries. Yeah, buddy. And what a perfect location to actually put some uh, berries in because look at that. It's raining. It's raining. You get some water. You know, good soil. Plus, there's a secret base right there. Now, speaking of secret bases, uh, you guys already know where my secret base is at. Same old regular place. I haven't switched it up yet. I kind of want to wait for that until we get into, I guess, into the ocean. And let's see, there's a spot. Well, actually, there's nothing right there. Okay, so there's nothing. All right, so let's go ahead and battle another person right here. Oh, there's two ladies. Let's go ahead and battle this one first. She's been waiting for me. 
me, Pokemon, and my parasol. If one of them uh, is missing, the picture of a beauty is will be ruined. That is true. There is a... Uh, okay, alrighty. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Okay, so I kind of messed up on the on the, on the the shout-out. Okay, it wasn't Crokey 4. It was actually Dallas Upchurch. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, my bad. My bad, guys. The hell? Oh, damn. Okay, so she's coming out with a, with a cast form. Okay, so what I was just saying right now about the uh, the recording and all that stuff, that actually came from Dallas Upchurch. So, sorry, buddy. Uh, I have a booklet right here, or a little notebook. Uh, you know, and I misread this whole thing right here. So Dallas Upchurch was the one that re uh, that asked me about the recording stuff. Now, Crokey4 was the one that mentioned to me in my Pokemon Yellow that the Pokemon that I capture in Pokemon Yellow, why not use it for, you know, Pokemon Red or Blue? Uh, to answer that question right there, let's see. Hold on just a sec. I'm trying to beat this cast form, and it just transformed on me three times. That's Tornado form. What the hell? Oh, here comes a sunny day. Oh, crap, baskets. And it's about to turn into a fire-type Pokemon. So, with every single weather change, it's just going to transform. Look at that. It's transformed into its uh, fire-type mode. So, let's go with the Psychic Attack. If all else fails, just Psychic it away. And, okay, so now going back to Croakey4's question. The actual question. Uh, yeah. There is a... Well, that was actually the thought... That was actually the the kind of the mindset of uh, you know transferring Pokemon to red and blue, if I were to come out right here and look at that, my Sir Razor is finally evolving. Look at that, we're accomplishing a lot of stuff. Answering questions, evolving Pokemon, kicking butt, picking up phone numbers from pretty uh, good-looking Pokemon trainers, that kind of stuff. You know, okay, you know. Gym Leader Draven's keeping his pit pants strong. And look at that, Sir Razor has finally evolved into Weeping Bell, and yes, we will finally evolve this Pokemon here in this game and uh, well it doesn't do anything else right there okay so again back to the uh, whole talk about this Pokemon have many abilities if you want to become first class a uh, first class trainer learn about them which I am uh, so transferring Pokemon I did transfer some Pokemon or I actually let my front my buddy from Poke, uh, Poke Adventures HD get some of these Pokemon like Bulbasaur or Dubasaur the hell my bad. That was my wire. <laughs> yeah, uh, Dubasaur actually made its debut in its, I think, Pokemon Red or Blue. So if you guys want to check that out, check out the complete walkthrough on, right here on my channel, Red or Blue. Uh, of course, it's not going to be, uh, it's not going to be uh, narrated because my buddy right here is not much of a narration kind of person right there. And god dang, this Milotic. It's pretty uh, strong as Pokemon. So let's go again with another Charge Beam. Eat this charge beam. Yeah, buddy. Now, I will be using some of these Pokemon that I get from Pokemon, uh, uh, from yellow, red, and blue from Pokemon uh, Adventures HD uh, onto Pokemon Stadium. And yes, guys, I have not forgotten about Pokemon uh, Pokemon uh, Stadium. I will be coming back with that uh, soon. I'm actually recording some of these episodes. Uh, I think I recorded like about six episodes. Again, guys, it's a lot of episodes or a lot of time for these kinds of episodes for Pokemon Stadium. And bam, look at that. Pokemon are growing to level 48. And yes, obviously, or you're obviously thinking, yes, I am. Hell yeah. Okay. So that was that. Let's go ahead and move on right here to the grassy area. The grassy knoll area. And I think you'll find one Kecleon around here. And uh, secret base area. You will be finding some pretty cool Pokemon. If you guys haven't known, you will be finding Absol, Oddish, Glooms, Kecleons, Invincible or Invisible and not Invincible. The Noons right here or Linoons or however you, however you guys like to butcher his names and all that stuff. And of course, it's starting to rain right here, so my bad. Okay, let's go right in and just get out of this. Okay. So again, going back into the little tangent that I was in, yeah, I, some of these Pokemon that you've seen, like Dubasaur, Pokemon that I haven't used, they will be coming back in some capacity, and it, and it looks like there's a Kecleon right here, so let's go with the Devon Scope. Bam! Like, uh, I think I have Dubasaur right here. Oh, wow. Okay, so he's attacking. Yeah, I did get, or I do have Dubasaur onto my, uh, onto this game right here, and... Let's see. I'm just going to run away because I really don't want to battle this guy. 
Yeah, I do have Dubasaur on this game, and I will evolve it. Man, you know, I am thinking of battling the Elite Four quite a few times with some of these Pokemon that I have used and haven't used from different teams and stuff, just because I want to see them all in 3D. I'm kind of a, I'm kind of like specific or, or something like that. And there is a Bug Catcher right there, so let's go right ahead and switch out a Pokemon right here. Let's see. Uh, you know what? Desert Storm needs a little loving. Kind of want to evolve it too. Alrighty, so the last uh, person right here who who have who has commented on my channel right here is uh, the Freddo, I think. Yeah, that's the Freddo. Now the Freddo right here has commented on the channel saying that finally a PokeTuber that doesn't scream or you know doesn't yell into the mic, more calm than anything. I'm gonna say this right now. Yeah, calm. How am I calm? <laughs> oh man. Uh, yeah. Well, I guess I'm calm. A little more calmer than most uh, PokeTubers out there. Uh, again, I'm just like I'm. I'm a student of the game as well. Uh, I like watching other PokeTubers. Uh, some PokeTubers like Jugga Conroy, uh, Luroy, who just came back, uh, Marilyn, who else? Munching Orange. Those guys. I like to watch their videos because. Uh, they're very specific. They, I like the way they they come out with their Pokemon uh, walkthroughs and all that stuff. But sometimes, you know, in only bits and pieces, some doses and all that stuff. Because I'm very specific with the way with, with the way things are done. Uh, I don't like to yell. I think I've already posted or commented or commented back onto your your uh, onto your post right here. But I like to do it or I like to speak right here, like if it was real life. I don't like raising my voice unless I have to. That's how I am, guys. I don't like to yell a lot. Uh, the only times you guys will ever see me yell is if I get a little too frustrated with some of the Pokemon I battle here. You guys have seen that quite a few times. Or with the legendary Pokemon, because yes, they are frustrating as hell. Very, very pr uh, frustrating. Now, uh, with the speaking patterns, I'm very specific with my speaking patterns as well. I get that they, sometimes I repeat a lot of stuff. Uh, I do a lot of ums and stuff. I try to, I, you know, I learn from that, and I actually, let's see, what else? Yeah, I learn from that, and I try to minimize that. That way you guys won't get annoyed, because the day and age that we live in, there's a lot of people that like to be very, very, you know, specific and all that stuff with uh, how things are done, too, just like I am. Now, here we have another base, and again, another person who don't know. So we're just going to go ahead and steal the, the map right here, or not the map, but the flag. And they didn't decorate much. So there we go, we got uh, whoever's base is that, and we got 38 flags. Hopefully we can get 100 by the time we're done with this walkthrough right here. Let's see, and then what else do I, sh what else do I have to say? Yeah, I get annoyed too. I do get annoyed sometimes with some other PokeTubers if they scream too much, or if they, if you could hear like, you know, if. If they're just a, they're just trying to be a little goofy, wacky, and all that stuff, or you know some quirks and stuff. That's just me, guys. I don't know about you. Uh, doing this, doing Pokemon, or Poketubing for ten years, guys. It helped me learn with a lot of uh, things that people do like and don't like, and I've learned from that. And like I, I think I mentioned this to somebody. I, you can only get better from all your past mistakes, and thankfully, I made a lot of past mistakes, and you know I've learned. So let's go ahead and talk to this girl right here. Let's see. Give the case a shake, and out pops a Pokeblock. Then a Pokemon eats it with relish. Uh, it's a way to show love, you know? Yeah, I do, I think. Yes, yes, you understand what I mean. You should take this. And here we have the Agua Berry. Nice, nice, nice. I think that berry is rare. I hope you saw, uh, you saw it with loving care. Okay, alrighty. So we're going to pause right here, guys. In the next episode, we're going to continue on. I think this is Route 117. Next one? I don't even know, guys. So yeah, Route 117. I will be back in the next episode. Don't worry, guys. I'm not going to disappear on you. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>